Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the interquartile range of a data set. So let's say that we have a data set of 1, 2, 4, 4, 7, 9, 11, and 11. The first thing you want to do is when you do have a data set, is you're going to want to order it from smallest to largest which I have already done to save some time. Once you have done that, there's two pieces of information we need to find the interquartile range. And that is your Q1 and your Q3. Q1 just stands for quartile one and Q3 is quartile three. And using those two pieces of information, we can get our interquartile range which is simply equal to Q3 minus Q1. The other piece of information you will need is your median, just because in order to get these two quartiles, you first need to get your median. So let's start with that. To get the median, simply find the middle number because your median is your middle number. To do that, start at the outside and slowly work your way in until you get to the middle. In my case, I don't have a middle number, but rather the middle is in between the 4 and the 7. And that's because I had an even amount of numbers. If I had an odd amount, I would have had a middle number. Say for example, I had a 5 in between this 4 and the 7. Then my middle number would be 5. But regardless of whether you have a middle number, or your middle number is in between two numbers, the point of this is to split the data in half. So we have this half down here, which is where we will get our Q1, and this half up here, which is where we will get our Q3. And if you had a middle number, you just have that and you'd ignore it. So if you had a 5 here, you still have this half and this half. So that won't matter. Then to get your Q1 and your Q3, it's simply a matter of finding the median of your lower side, which will be your Q1, and your median of your upper side, which will be your Q3. So if we work our way in, our median or our middle number, or our Q1, will be right in between 2 and 4, which is 3. So Q1 is equal to 3. If you're working with larger numbers, it might be a little more difficult just to look at it and see that's the middle number. So a quick trick you can do is you can add them together and divide them by 2, so as you can see, that's 6 over 2, which is 3. And then we'll do the same for Q3. So we have our middle number here, which is in between 9 and 11. So that is 10. So Q3 equals 10. And if you remember from before, your interquartile range, which you might see shortened to IQR, your IQR is equal to Q3, your third quartile, minus your first quartile. So that will simply be equal to our quartile 3, which is 10, minus our quartile 1, which is 3. Therefore, our interquartile range is equal to 7. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.